All right, welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you how you can save, create, and modify audio presets in DaVinci Resolve. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so I've opened up a previous tutorial. Audio track one is the voiceover, everything else is music. So I've just muted all of that stuff. So let's hop into Fairlight where we're going to be working today. As you can see, I've already got some effects added onto audio track one. And if we wanted to add something else, all we have to do is click this plus button and add whatever it is. But because this is the typical vocal chain that I usually use, I'm just going to add this as a preset. So what we do is click on Fairlight, go to the preset library, and then scroll down until you find the global track presets. Uh, DaVinci Resolve now comes with some built-in presets. So if you see some of them, that's what it's doing. Some of these are my old ones though. So to create a new one, you just click where the audio effects are that you want to use as the presets. So because I'm using audio track one, that's where my voiceover is. That's where I put my effects. I'm going to click on that and then click save new. It's going to ask if I want to update the currently selected one or create a new one. So I want to create a new one and I'm going to call this Vox Master. Click OK, and there we go. We can see it added a new one. What I'm going to do here is just open it up for you guys so you can see the exact EQ curve that we're working with. There's also a compressor and a deesser. And then I'm going to quickly delete all of this and show you how you can add it. So now that I've got no effects and I want to add that vocal chain back, all we have to do is click Fairlight, Preset Library, Click on the Vox Master that I created, apply it to Audio Track 1, hit Apply. And this is going to take a minute because I'm using Isotope plugins and Ozone especially takes quite a while to load. So I'll be right back when it loads up. And there we go. Now to show you that it's the same one, there's that EQ curve, there's the compressor, there's the de -esser. So everything got added correctly. So let's say we wanted to update this and to do that, I'm going to add isotope vinyl. Let's say I wanted this to mimic a telephone conversation style. So this is a pretty good way of doing it. Keep that trick in mind. So to update this, we can go to Fairlight, go to preset library, select audio track one, select Vox master, Hit Save New, and then we can click the Update button. And now if I delete all of these plugins again, add it again, and now we can see Isotope Vinyl is there with the 1950s and the wear set up to 76%, just like I did before. There we have it. It's that easy to add presets to DaVinci Resolve. Another thing that's easy is going to my company website, ToonSquid, and downloading some free DaVinci Resolve templates, effects, and royalty-free music that you can use in your videos. And you will never get demonetized, you're never going to get a copyright claim. It's all absolutely safe to use. So if you want to check that out, follow the link below. And if this video was helpful at all, let me know in the comments below, and let me know what you'd like to see going forward. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye now.